everybody. Let's sing some songs. Let's have some fun and let's worship our Heavenly Father and say thank you to Jesus for all that he's done for us. My God is so big to start with. Let's do the actions. Are you ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. The rivers are his, the mountains are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. Now you've probably got your whole living room. So yeah, do really big actions. I've only got a little camera to do this into. Right, we're now going to have a go at Heaven is a Wonderful Place. And we're going to do it as a round in a minute. So have a go at all of it. Are you ready? Heaven is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Saviour's face Cause heaven is a wonderful place I wanna go there Heaven is a wonderful place Filled with glory and grace I want to see my Saviour's face Cause heaven is a wonderful place I wanna go there Heaven is a wonderful place Filled with glory and grace I want to see my Saviour's face Cause heaven is a wonderful place I wanna go there Heaven is a wonderful place Filled with glory and grace I want to see my Saviour's face Cause heaven is a wonderful place I wanna go there Heaven is a wonderful place Filled with glory and grace I want to see my Saviour's face Cause heaven is a wonderful place And I want to go there one day It'll be wonderful And now I'm going to teach you a new song I'm really grateful to Adrian Pillinger For sending me some new music to Links to lots of things Which I loved all of them um, And I'm going to teach you This one particularly stood out As something that I could teach to you um, but, And it's biblical as well They were all really good and it's by Rain for Roots and it's off the album The Kingdom of Heaven is like this. The lady on there sings it far better than I do but let's have a go at it and let's use, I'm going to use Purple Crow who does some toddler singing time to help me with this but if you want to do the actions you can just do this up for the bird bit. Here we go. everything they need they don't worry where their next meal will come from they don't worry about a thing so just look around you and try to listen to the song creation sings don't you worry because you're in the hands of the god who made everything now, can you be a flower like this, unfolding like that? See the flowers in their colourful beauty, they're dressed better than a king. They don't worry about what they will wear, no, they don't worry about a thing. Just look around you and try to listen to the song creation sings. But don't you worry cause you're in the hands of the God who made everything Because you're not a bird and you're not a flower You don't have petals or wings But there is good news, there is so, you're worth so much more to the God who made everything Don't you worry about today or tomorrow And the storms that they might bring But just remember that 
you're in the hands of the God who made everything. So just look around you and try to listen to the song creation sings. But don't you worry cause you're in the hands of the God who made everything. And just remember you're not a bird and you're not a flower. You don't have petals or wings. But just remember, you're worth so much more to the God who made everything. I love that song. I messed it up a bit because it's new to me. But do go and listen to it. It's great. And let's just say a prayer. Thank you, God that we're worth so much more to you. We're worth so much to you that you sent Jesus to die for us, Lord, that we can speak to you. We can, you can be our friend. We can be your friend any time of the day. And we can speak to you at any time when we're worried or scared or afraid. Thank you for all that you've done for us, all the beauty of creation, Lord. Help us to look at your creation around us and to thank you for it. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've given us and everything you've done for us. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, welcome to Junior Church. I just want to say a big thank you to Heather and Steve and Simon for leading us in some fabulous worship. I hope you enjoyed singing um, and dancing to to the fantastic songs. And uh, you may think, oh, it's a different surrounding. You've come to my office today. Change of scenery. We are recording in my office. So I think you can maybe just see a little bit behind me. And you can't see the rest because it's all a bit messy and untidy. So hopefully what you can see is all right. And I just want to say another big, big thank you to Ruben for sending pictures of his Lego again. I love, love, love getting your pictures, Ruben. Absolutely fantastic. So if anybody else wants to send pictures of anything that they've been doing, it doesn't have to be Lego. It might be um, what you've been up to in the week. And then I can share that with everybody else. Um, and I haven't actually heard that anybody's got their birthday either. However, Friday it was my birthday. I'm another year older. Can you see more grey hair? So will you join me in singing happy birthday to me? Would you? That would be fantastic. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Yanon. Happy birthday to me. Hooray! And if there was anybody else selling, celebrating their birthday, that happy birthday was for you as well. Now, I have been building my Lego gingerbread house. It's bag number four. There's only one bag left. We're almost at the end. Now, I wonder if you can remember what it looked like before and what is new. Well, definitely look. It's got some pretty roofs on with icing, sugar and sweeties on. We're getting a bit of the upstairs now as well. The chimney is taller, another roof over here. And if I spin it around, then you will see what else is in the upstairs. Can you see there's a bathroom and Mr. Gingerbread is in the bath. He's having a lovely little soak in the bath. So we've got some windows and all sorts of lovely pretty things going on. So join me next week to see what the completed set looks like. Okay so I hope you did enjoy singing at the beginning, praising God um, in that way, singing the songs for him. Now our story today has someone singing praises to God 
Um, and when we ch when we choose to follow Jesus and the Holy Spirit fills us, then the Holy Spirit works in us to make us more like Jesus. Now, we've been talking yet last week about the fruit of the Spirit. And when we choose to follow Jesus, we're filled with the Spirit and we're given the fruit of the Spirit. Now, we found out last week what all of the nine parts of the fruit of the Spirit are. Can you remember any of them? Well, let's remind ourselves. But the fruit of the Spirit is love joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. And we learned about love last week. So the next one in the list is joy. Now I've got a question for you. What makes you happy? Well, you might guess one of the things that makes me happy is building Lego. Just like the gingerbread house, or any Lego. And my dogs, my dogs, Elsie and Millie, they make me happy too. But being happy and having joy are different things. Now, our Bible story today will help us understand that a little bit more. But before we read the Bible, let's pray. So join me in praying. And then you can do a big amen or a little one at the end of um, whatever you want. So let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that we can meet together to have junior church. We thank you that we can look at the Bible, that we can read the true stories in the Bible. And they'll help us to learn more about you and how amazing you are. So God, would you help us today as we read the Bible to listen well, to remember it, to learn from it, and above all, that we might love you more because of it. We thank you that you hear our prayers. Amen. Okie dokie. So, today's story is called Paul and Silas in Prison. Paul, Silas and Timothy were staying in Philippi as guests of Lydia. One day, as they were going to the place of prayer, they were followed by a slave girl who was possessed by a demon. This demon gave her powers as a fortune teller and she earned a lot of money for her masters. She chased after Paul and the others shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God and they have come to tell you how to be saved. This went on day after day until Paul got so exacerbated, he got a bit frustrated about it, that he turned and said to the demon within her, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. Instantly it left her. Now that the slave girl has lost her powers to tell fortune, her master's hope of making money were dashed. So they grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them before the authorities at the marketplace. The whole city is in an uproar because of these Jews, they shouted to the city officials. They are teaching customs that are illegal for us Romans to practice. A mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas and the city officials ordered them to be stripped and beaten with wooden rods. After a severe beating, Paul and Silas were thrown into prison. The jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape. So he put them into the inner dungeon and clamped their feet in the stocks. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, 
there was a massive earthquake and the prison was shaken, shaken to its foundations. All the doors immediately flew open and the chains of every prisoner fell off. The jailer woke up to see the prison doors wide open. He assumed the prisoners had escaped, so he drew his sword to kill himself. But Paul shouted to him, Stop! Don't kill yourself! We're all here! The jailer called for lights and ran to the dungeon and fell down, trembling before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, along with everyone in your household. Then they shared the word of the Lord with him and with all who lived in his house. The jailer cared for them and washed their wounds. Then he and everyone in his house were immediately baptised. He gave them a meal in his house and his entire household rejoiced because they all believed in God. The next morning, the city officials told the jailer, let those men go. When they learned that Paul and Silas were Roman citizens, they came to the jail to apologise to them for their treatment. Paul and Silas left the prison and returned to the home of Lydia. They met with the believers and encouraged them before leaving the city. So, what is the difference between feeling happy and feeling joy? Well, if the thing that makes you happy is taken away from you, then you're not feeling happy anymore. Whereas joy is that feeling of being happy no matter what happens. Being able to praise God by singing to him, praying to him, thanking him for all he's done at all times, even when things are tricky and you might be feeling a bit sad. Now, as we learn more about Jesus and love him more, we get to know him better and the fruit of the Spirit grows in us, so we get more joy. And this means that we can show others what God's love looks like. Now you might be surprised, I know I was, that Paul and Silas were singing praises to God and worshipping him while they were in prison. You may, like me, have expected them to be really sad. But they were full of joy. And this meant that, even though they were in prison and in an awful lot of pain, they could still worship God. And this is because they were filled with the Holy Spirit and were showing and sharing the fruit of joy. Now the jailer could see that they knew and loved Jesus and wanted to do that himself. Now let me show you what being filled with joy by the Holy Spirit looks like. And I'm going to use a balloon so join me in the kitchen to do that. Okay so Imagine this balloon is you and it says, look, my name, which of course, as you read it, it means your name. And as I read it, it means my name. So this is us. And here is the Holy Spirit. We get filled with the Holy Spirit. And this is kind of Holy Spirit stuff. Now, what I'm going to put into us is, this is, imagine this is time that we spend with God. It could be reading our Bible praying, uh, singing your favourite hymn, spending time with other Christian friends and learning all about God. Okay? Now, let's see if I can do this without everything falling over. So, the Holy Spirit...
fills us with joy. That was quite exciting. And look, look what happens. We get filled up. And now you've turned upside down. Can you see? It says my name, but you're upside down. So we get filled in quite an impressive way by the Holy Spirit. We're filled with joy. The fruit of the Spirit, we're filled with joy. And by th and then, what that means is we can be full of joy even when things aren't going right, when we're feeling a bit sad. Uh, we can still feel that joy and we can be able to praise God and pray to him and give thanks to him no matter what our situation is. And that's the difference between being full of joy and happy because happy, you're relying on things around you and when that thing that makes you happy is taken away, you're not happy anymore. But joy, because it comes from the Holy Spirit, it's always there and it means that you can praise God and give thanks in all circumstances. So there you go, you're full of joy. Now God has promised that when we are friends with Jesus, he will never leave us and never give up on us. We have the Holy Spirit with us so we can have joy all the time. Even when things aren't going right, you might be feeling sad, upset, scared or annoyed. You can still feel joy because it's that feeling deep down in your heart that you've got because you're filled with the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. And remember, you can do any kind of Amen at the end. Dear God, we thank you for the joy that you give us through the Holy Spirit. Please help us to have joy, no matter if we are happy or sad, so that we can praise and worship you all the time. Help us to grow closer to you so that the fruit of the Spirit will grow in us and others will be able to see our joy. Please, God, keep us safe this week. And for all the children at nursery and school, I pray they would be happy and excited. For those who are still at home, I pray they would have a wonderful time and not miss any brothers and sisters who have gone back to school too much. We thank you, God, for joy. Amen. So I hope that this week that you will feel joy all the time, that you will be able to praise God, thank him, pray to him, whatever is going on, because you've got the Holy Spirit inside you and with the Holy Spirit comes the fruit of the Spirit. Can you remember what they are? I'm going to have to check my notes. I know it's love, joy, say them with me, peace, patience. Now I think, oh I can't remember what comes next. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness oh i'm forgetting kindness and gentleness and of course the last one self-control i'm going to try and learn those for next week so i i can cover my notes and say them all maybe you could try and do the same as well have a wonderful week everybody join me for bedtime stories monday wednesday and friday and then again next sunday for more Junior Church. Until then, take care, stay safe. Bye everyone.